yet another equation that we need to solve but before we solve it we first need to solve the trigonometric ratio to be equal to a constant in other words cos t must be found alone this time without the use of a calculator and not the general solution but a specific solution since we're given an interval for our solutions in other words on that interval we can find limited number of solutions that will make this equation to be true first of all we uh, get cos of t on its own by subtracting a 3 on both sides okay to get 6 cos t equal to negative 3 and then to get rid of the 6 we will divide everything by a 6 okay so this is divided by 6 to give me that cos of t is equal to negative a half now I uh, know and, and for time's sake I'm not going to uh, repeat that I know that cos is a half when uh, the reference angle is equal to 60 okay however it should be negative a half and now you could go and say well then the reference angle is negative 60 but that's not true because negative 60 is in the fourth quadrant cos in the fourth quadrant is positive so this can't be the reference on angle can't be 60 degrees um, in the, and it can't be negative 60 degrees. This will only work for sine and cos to add a ne uh, sorry for sine and tan to add the negative. Okay, for cos we'll have to choose one of the quadrants using the 60 degrees uh, where cos is negative. Second quadrant will work just fine. Second quadrant is 180 minus 60, which gives me 120. So 120 degrees cos of 120 is negative a half. Okay, so that now I can find my general solution is therefore either my reference angle plus 360 times k, okay, which is therefore 120 degrees, which is the third, uh, second quadrant angle, uh, plus my period, where k is an element of integers, or the other one is um, taking for cos is fourth quadrant angles, which is negative the reference angle plus 360 times k that's the other area of solutions and uh, that would mean it's negative 120 degrees plus 360 times k with uh, negative 120 would be third quadrant as you can see okay if negative goes in this direction so that would be third quadrant and 120 would be in this direction that's second quadrant so here we have two two quadrants solution and uh, now we just need to find the specific solutions by taking k as a value between 0, 1, 2, etc. and negative 1, negative 2, etc. Okay, first of all, let's start with 0 and we must fall inside these two quadrants. The first problem, uh, or the first uh, one I have, uh, so I'm just going to write the solution here as I seem to have run out of space. T is therefore an element of one of the following solutions. If I replace K with 0, I get 120 plus no full rotations, which means it's 120. 120 does fall in that, so that's one solution. Um, if I add one full rotation, I get 480. 480 is way too big, so I'm not going to add more rotations. I'm going to subtract a few rotations. 120 minus 360 gives me negative 240 negative 240 is too small okay I'm not allowed to go there so I'm not subtracting any rotations either how about negative 120 um, plus 360 first we add no rotation so k equal to 0 when there's no rotation I get 120 degrees negative 120 which is too small I'm not allowed to have a value that's small okay how about then so obviously subtracting any more rotations won't work anyways okay so I'm just going to add another rotation and that gives me positive 240 which is also too big okay so here I actually don't have a, a collection of solutions I actually just have one solution that will solve this equation on this interval so there's only one value between these two limits that will solve for cos of t equal to negative a half and that is the number 100 or the angle 120 degrees